With development booming on the Big Island, the Puna District is primed for progress, but some Native Hawaiians say it's running roughshod over ancestral remains. If we knew that it wasn't flagged, you know, it would have given us enough time to preserve this site. The story of a young man trying to protect an ancient burial site next to his Big Island home. He's guarding something more valuable than treasure, more precious than gold, and construction everywhere. Hawaiians fear every time a lot is cleared, another burial cave is destroyed. When they started to bulldoze our forest, they started to hit sensitive areas to our Hawaiian people, meaning that it's cultural sites and especially our burial sites. I decided to do some research on my own, hoping to find a solution to protect the cave. Online, there are many articles and cases of Hawaiian burials being desecrated in Hawaii. Seeing some of the outcomes of what could happen was really disturbing. There is a law in the Hawaii state statutes which protects prehistoric and Hawaiian burials. Under this law, burial councils are set up on each major island. I remember the first time I had a meeting with the burial council. Yes, this is me. To be seated in front of this burial council, I felt intimidated because they have the power to recognize descendants, to keep burials in place, or to remove burials from their locations. At my first burial council meeting, I was denied cultural descendancy. So I took the council's advice to do more research about my genealogy. My mother took out the time to explain our family genealogy with me. Of all our family, she knew the most. It was a total, I think, of 26 children altogether, but we're considered the second half of the Kahikola family. Our genealogy goes back seven generations to the Hawaiian Kingdom time period. The old photos of my great-great-grandparents took me back in time as my mother told their stories. I could see it in her eyes, how she missed her grandparents. 